So I'm, and he killed it. He was, I was like, this is crazy. And I didn't think he was going to make it because it was on tour. And so he, um, he sent it. And I was like, I was like, oh, said, man, you killed it, right? I said, how much I owe you? And he was like, nothing. Wow. And, I, and then I was, I was, I think he was going for 100000 easily. And he was like, nah, I don't worry about it. Just next time, you know, look out for me. And I was mm -hmm. like, and so I did something for him later on, not music wise, but just some, some real, real busy. Real, yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah. Uh, let me ask, let, I'm going to go back into the music. I'm going to pull mm -hmm. y'all out. Okay, mm -hmm. right <laughs> Let's talk about, you know, you've worked with so many different people. Yeah. You work with Jay-Z. You work with mm -hmm. Beyonce. You mm -hmm. work with you work with so many, man. So how was it How was it even rocking out with, like, Jay-Z and just working with these different people? You got to give us the explanation. Um, all of them was dope, man. Like, um, Trina was great. Trina. Um, Cameron them was great. Cameron. <clears throat> See, you done been down um, through there. So with, I think with the ones that stood out the most was probably Beyonce that was younger and we was like here. So it was like, they was just trying to make it. Well, they made it a little bit, but we, you know, we was just, and it was a real conversation. So it was like a, like a brother, sister, like growing up, trying to figure it out. And we helped each other on that part and it was fun. And then uh, with Jay, it's like, it's dope because um, kind of like, I mean, I ain't saying I gonna see him, what he's doing now. That's, that's crazy. But, <laughs> yeah. but I would think that so the first time when I was like, um, I was like, yo, Jay-Z was my favorite. Well, no, I met him before at Priority, so it was like hecka cool, humble. I was like, man, that's crazy. And he was just starting out, wasn't selling many records and stuff like that, but he was, he, he was just crazy nice. I, I knew it because as another artist, you could tell, but I didn't know his hustle or his drive was that good. And then, so when he started going a little bigger, I was like, man, I gotta get him on the record. And you know, it's so funny, um, so I called them. I'm like, yo, I need you on this record. And it was, um, and it was, I had like um, two days to finish the album up. Mm -hmm. And um, I sent it to Jay. And um, I think they was on tour. I can't remember what the tour was, but so, you know, everybody after that big old tour, I think it was a Def Jam or one of those big ones, like DMX, everybody was on it. Mm -hmm. So after the tour, um, he, everybody stayed. But so let's say the tour was over Wednesday. My album was get mastered Thursday. Everybody stayed in the city that they was at because it was, it, was, it was the last day of the tour. So everybody partying, having fun. Jay go back and finish the song up and send it to me. So he must have got a suit like 3 o'clock in the morning. I got it that morning and I made my time to edit it. You know what I'm saying? And, so I'm, and he killed it. He was, I was like, this is crazy. And I didn't think he was going to make it because he was on tour. And so he, um, he sent it and I was like, I was like, oh, said, man, you killed it, right? I said, like, how much I owe you? And he was like, nothing. Wow. And, I, and then I was, I was, I think he was going for 100000 easily. And he was like, nah, I don't worry about it. Just next time, you know, look out for me. And I was mm -hmm. like, and so I did something for him later on, not music wise, but just some, some real, 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 yeah, real stuff. Yeah, too. I read something about, mm -hmm. he says that in his articles that mm -hmm. I read, that he don't even charge. He just do networking if it's worth him mm -hmm. doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.